Inspired by Leonardo da Vinci, who was the epitome of a true Renaissance man, was gifted with a curious mind and brilliant intellect. That was just enough to inspire the inventor within Oscar to come up with a brilliant exhibition. But digital artistry is not an easy medium. Hey Oscar, all good, how's it man? All good, all good. Man. You good? Now Oscar, you were actually born in Russia and moved to Namibia in the year 2000. When did you actually realize you were born for art? For art? Well, that's a tricky question because it goes way back. I think I was six years old when my mom, as an extracurricular activity, she took me to an art school. Uh, I guess it was just one of her ways to be like, okay, I'm going to work, let me just drop you off and do something. And it was something I realized, it's not something that was born in me per se, but it's something that I realized you could cultivate and develop and, you know, learn techniques and get inspired by your surroundings and other creative people as well. Looking at your art pieces around you, I must say you have quite interesting pieces. How would you describe your style? My style? Well, if I could put three words, it's unique, weird, crazy and right. a bit primitive. I, right. I like the fusion of all those elements to mm. come together. Right. No, wait, so there's one thing I can actually rep you know, comment about you is the fact that you actually push people to have an online presence. When did you realize that's actually a very essential thing? Well, um, my background, I'm also a digital artist uh, or I'm a graphic designer. So you realize that when you're in the corporate world, this is essentially why, or you can actually bridge, you can make art become commercial. And with social media, you have to sort of stand out. So the more creative and the more aesthetically pleasing you are, or your work is, the more jobs you get. And at the same time, the better it is to market, the better it is to market and advertise yourself. So, you know, it's, it's necessary nowadays, social media and putting yourself out there. If you see this wall here, uh -huh. we're dealing with mainly endangered animals. Right. The white rhino, for instance, it's been a far, I think it's been a far cry. Everyone has been like always promoting the white rhino and yeah, save exactly. the rhino and this and that. So I thought maybe there's if not, I could- There's only one left, right? I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure about the statistics, but we keep on hearing about poaching and that they keep on diminishing by the year. So right. we wanted to create, I wanted to create this one in a sense of like, you know, see the beauty of nature, see the beauty of life and, right. you know, don't just exploit nature just for money. You know, there's more to life than just money. Now, Oscar, I can't help but notice by those two beautiful ladies over there, and they're actually Namibian. What was the whole story behind that? Oh man, actually, you should come and check it out. Okay? Ah man, look at this, so beautiful. What is it that you tried to depict in this portrait? Well, basically, there was a picture that I saw of a kid, and this kid, you know, first of all, Namibian child, because the whole theme of this art, uh, the art gallery and the art theme is to support local artists. So I wanted to s create something that is authentically Namibian and you can't get more authentically Namibian than the Himba people. Right. So this is a Himba kid that had this captivating gaze that I just had to recreate something that really captures one's imagination and also reflects uh, the beauty, Namibian beauty. Now Oscar, it's just something about your style that one can ignore. So how would you describe the process of you coming up with a masterpiece as this one? Well, it's, it's, it's crazy and tedious at the same time, but uh, long story short, first thing I do obviously is look for inspiration. So it's, sometimes it takes days, sometimes it takes months where you're looking through photographs or looking for something that can grab your attention or you know make your heart skip a bit exactly. it's a crazy process you know if, you, if I tell people that it takes sometimes weeks sometimes months sometimes it, pre it it depends with your mood as well because you know you just have to wait for that wave of inspiration to hit you and then you just do it <laughs> now Oscar I know you said you can't predict the future but if there's one thing you can predict is the food they get to serve here how about we go have a cup of coffee yeah definitely the principles of true art is not to portray but to evoke